Sarah Bass was a woman ahead of her time, absolutely. We don't know very much about her early life before you know she and Bishop Allen were together, with the exception of the fact that she was one of the um, early members um, of St. George's Church. She was actually in Richard Allen's class. He was our class leader. And um, we also know that she um, showed heroic efforts during the yellow fever epidemic. One of the things I think is very revealing about uh, Sarah Allen is in her obituary. There's a little line in there that talks about her uh, being a friend to the fleeing slave. And you know you can really take that to, to understand that she was very active in helping people flee the South and make it not just to Philadelphia, but beyond to New York and into Canada. And so I think that it says something about her character that repeatedly um, she didn't use her position to just simply make life better for herself, but she went out of the way to put herself on the line and to put herself out there uh, to help other people. Sarah Bass doesn't charge for her service. She says, if I'm worthy, then pay me. So this idea of um, you know, being socially responsible was not only about race for her, but it was also about gender issues and gender equality. Uh, I, I dare say that um, Sarah Allen was um, really just one of our very first persons in our uh, history as a country that we can say was really a person who was about human rights. So it was not just, you know, I'm only in this because I'm black and slavery is wrong, but if there was a wrong, she was for those who were on the side of right.